Hello, and welcome to a slightly different video by me. It's recently been brought to my attention that there's been this fantastic uh, integration uh, called Hasio EcoFlow by VWT 12EH8 um, that allows Home Assistant to have an integration with the EcoFlow, and it's been recently updated to include the Delta Max and the Delta Pro, whereas previously it was only the River Max and the River Pro. Um, I am not going to go into the details of how to set up Home Assistant. Um, there are far more capable uh, videos than I could ever hope to do with at the moment. Uh, but e uh, Home Assistant is a piece of software that can run locally on your home computer, on a home network uh, to manage uh, home devices uh, like smart switches, plugs, uh, lights, uh, has integrations for Zigbee, Z-Wave, and so many other things to help you automate your own home independently of manufacturers uh, such as She Who Must Not Be Named, uh, Google Assistant, uh, Apple's equivalent, whatever the heck that's called. I don't really know, I've only just started playing with this. But yeah, they, this integration allows you to support the EcoFlow Delta Pro and uh, EcoFlow River series into Home Assistant as part of the NG dashboard. Um, I am going to give you a link to Paul Hibbert's um, Home Assistant Complete Beginner's Guide 2022. Um, he's a really funny YouTuber, British as well. Um, so feel free to drop his video a, a like as well as mine. Um, but yeah, this is a quick video as how to set up um, this plugin because it's not straightforward and easy as you might hope, but it's not difficult either. So a quick video to demonstrate this. First thing we need to do is set up what's called Hacks. Uh, that's Home Assistant Community Store. Um, so this is for any integrations and add-ons that aren't officially supported uh, by Home Assistant. Um, this add-on just lets you pretty much do whatever you like with it. It's really easy to install. So all you need to do uh, is first, you need to make sure that your user, so I've got my user here, Matt Wells, has advanced mode enabled, which is not by default. And this one threw me a little bit at first. Then once you've done that, you need to go to settings, add-ons, then go to the add-on store, and you need uh, terminal and SSH uh, and just click install. All you need to do is start. Once it has started, all you need to do is press the open web UI and this pretty horrible looking window will pop up uh, which will allow you to enter a command which is wget space hyphen o space hyphen space http s colon slash slash get dot hacks dot x y z space then the pipe character which is the little vertical bar uh, bash b a s h space then another hyphen then press enter i will paste that command down in the description below uh, and once that's run which is nice and quick uh, we can leave terminal then we need to go to developer tools and press restart and just accept the confirmation it'll take a moment to reload um, home assistant in the background next we need to go to settings devices and services add integrations search for hacks click on the hacks button accept all these and click submit you'll be then prompted to connect to your github account uh, you can create a github account no problem at any time um, for free and you just copy this code and paste it into this box um, i won't go through how to connect to home system, how to set up a github account and all you need to do is tell GitHub that you're happy for hacks to have access to your GitHub account. And you can set up hacks in the area. I just let it be default 
Once that is done, you just go back to developer tools and press restart again. Now you'll notice that on the left here, hacks has become available. And you click on that and go to integrations and press on the three dots on the top right, uh, custom repositories. And all you need to do is grab the Hasio EcoFlow repository URL on GitHub and paste that into the repositories. Uh, and for category, I selected integration and click add. Then here you'll get this new repository. You click through and press download. Uh, for now, we want to stick to the main release, uh, which as of this recording is 2.2. Uh, it is being updated somewhat frequently. Um, so you may need to come back here semi often to make sure you're on the latest version. But for now, just click download. Once it has loaded, go to settings, devices and services, add integration, search for EcoFlow. And it has not come up for me. So what I need to do is reload the page. I pressed F5 there. That should force it to reload the page with a brand new request to so clear the cache uh, and search for EcoFlow again. And here it is. Click on enter the IP address of your EcoFlow Delta Pro on your local home network. Uh, for me, that is 192.168.1.160. Um, you should be able to find this on your router's admin page. You want to look for something along the lines of DHCP leases. Once you've entered that, just press submit. Select where your EcoFlow is. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the kitchen for now. And if you click through, you should be able to see all the settings and configuration about the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Uh, so you can see right now that my battery is at 33.5%. Uh, it's been a miserable day today. I've hardly got any charge at all. And you can see most of the settings. Uh, and several that you can't, and you can also enable and disable it. Although I'm not sure why I can't see those settings at the moment, but yeah. Anyway, if you want to go to full advanced mode, uh, go over here to click on energy, uh, skip the electrical grid. Once you're on solar panels, add solar production and look for your MPPT input. Um, if you use total input, that will include electricity that's uh, been pulled in from the grid. Uh, we're just interested in MPPT, which is what is used for the solar. Um, add forecasted production and save and click through to next and add battery system. This time when we're searching for the sensors, we want to select total input uh, so it gets both mains and from solar. And again, with outgoing, we want total outgoing, which is the bottom option for me. And press save, then press next. I'm not tracking gas. Uh, I am not tracking any individual devices, but this is where you'd have smart plugs that have energy metering and things like that and show me my energy usage. Um, it will take a little bit of time for information to pop through uh, and populate this graph. But once you do, if I switch over to my intended home assistant, you get nice graphs here that show you how much energy you've gained. And you can just see how little input I've had today. Uh, my best hour was three point, um, 0 0.35 kilowatts in an hour, uh, which is pitiful when I should should on a nice day be getting the full 1500 watts um, but you can see uh, the energy usage and the input as well over a period of time so over a week over a month uh, so you can see i've only been using this for a couple of weeks and even a year uh, so loads of things to play with. If you're wondering what this uh, dotted line, that is the estimate uh, of the solar input for the day. Uh, if I go back to yesterday, that line's gone, uh, but the input from yesterday is available. 
and there is a prediction of tomorrow and tomorrow looks really good um the predictions aren't great um they are off quite a lot i usually find it's uh 20 percent below the estimate unless they're estimating really badly in which case i tend to be 10 percent above the estimate i haven't worked out a good way of collecting that at the moment if you found this video helpful uh, please give me a like and a subscribe um, and if you have any other ideas or suggestions I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Thank you.